National security now is the death of a thousand cuts. It used to mean something simple. Fight the communists, protect the American homeland, stable nuclear deterrence with the Soviets. Now there's a hundred little problems and landmines that a president can step on every day. You know, it's a free-for-all out there. And so the job of president is more complicated in that sense. Let's talk about doctrines. I would say a doctrine is kind of a, a philosophy of your approach. So I think going back, of course, the Bush administration was, we're large and in charge. The United States and our allies have prevailed. If there was an Obama doctrine, it was that America's influence is too large in the world, too negative in too many places and that we need to reduce our footprint, particularly in the Middle East. I think Donald Trump's doctrine Donald was... Donald Trump first. ...was Trump first. What works for me? I'm going to make our country rich again. It was like, alliances? Pfft, who cares? NATO? Pfft, who cares? We lost the trust and the confidence of a lot of our allies. What, then, is the Biden doctrine? I don't think there is a Biden doctrine. And I actually think that's a good thing. I think Biden approaches foreign policy like plumbing. Americans don't pay attention to the plumbing until it goes wrong and there's water all over the place. In some ways, the person I think Biden is most like is actually the first George Bush. He says, international institutions matter. American importance in the world matters. We have to kind of keep this system of global trade and cooperation and peace and security humming and stable. And I think Biden, of that generation, of that background, is very much in that mode. Has the foreign policy sort of chaos of the last couple of weeks complicated what he's trying to do on his domestic agenda? You know, it's an interesting question, because I think what Biden did with Afghanistan was to say, I don't want this to complicate my domestic agenda, so I'm just going to rip the Band-Aid off and then move on so that, you know, he doesn't become Lyndon Johnson, you know, embroiled in something while he's trying to do the Great Society. I think he decided not to be that guy. Some expected that the doctrine was going to be less America first and more or less work together as allies. How about the execution? Part of the poor execution, I think, is simply saying, I'm Joe Biden, you know me, you understand what I'm about. Well, you can't conduct foreign policy by implication. He spent his whole life as a senator and a vice president, and that's not the same thing as being a diplomat. You know, you actually have to remind people, this is what we stand for. These are the values that we have. Knowing a lot about foreign policy isn't the same thing as being adept at diplomacy.